Thank you for clicking on the video. Welcome back to the channel. This is another review for Love and Marriage Huntsville, Season 4, Episode 3, Read It and Weep. Maurice drops by um, Black. Marceau is there working, and they sit down and have a cigar and a drink. They talk about the dinner with Micah. Marceau, of course, calls it an ambush. He didn't appreciate that. Maurice says that um, they need to talk because Tisha and Kimmy were affected by it, and Marceau says Tisha is fine. Maurice is like, Tisha's always fine until she's not. We all know that Marceau loves to to do this. We're, we're a united front. Everything is all good. We, we love one another. My wife don't never have issues with me. She ain't got no problems. She good. Whole time, she got all the, all the issues, all the problems, all the grievances. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know what Marceau we talking about. Anyway, Maurice's initial reaction to the picture was just, you know, like this mother. But Marceau says, what would a normal non-lying person say? <laughs> you know, and he's like, I don't know. What would they say? Oh, they would say, oh, he was there. You know, so that was his whole end game is to prove that Maurice was, in fact, there. Maurice is the one that answered the question wrong. Instead of saying, you know, instead of answering it the way he did it, all he had to say was, I was there on the trip, but I did not witness them interact, which would still be a lie because... She the one. She the one that took the picture. So she, you had to see some type of interaction. <laughs> she didn't take the picture and then just go walk away. <sighs> but anyway, um, Maurice feels like he's owed an apology. Marceau says he's not giving him an apology. He'll apologize to Kimmy, but he ain't apologizing to him. Listen, you you made your bed. Of course, Maurice feels like Marceau stirred the pot. He's messy and he's the reason for all this drama. He drug Maurice down into the drama. He's like, no, nah, you drug yourself into the mess when you lied. Bottom line. And I'm 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 in agreement with that. Maurice, you lied. <laughs> you lied. You didn't have to lie. You did not have to lie about that. And yet you did. And so here we are. Um, Martel gets there. And, um... He invites them, you know, to his kids' book signing. They're not going to be able to make it. Maurice will be on the honeymoon that that they've been waiting to go on for the past three years. Um, and Marceau say his child turning 15, so he, he ain't going to be able to make it. Um, but anyway, Martel wants to talk to Marceau about his, you know, behavior at the reunion. You know, like you kind of went hard with Lewis. Marceau don't appreciate that. What you taking up for him so much for? You know, like he don't know me to be asking me questions to be thinking that he can give me advice and you know give him, giving me his opinion he hasn't earned that right for me to even care about his opinion we're not friends i don't know him martel is like well listen y'all could have had a man-to-man -man conversation you didn't have to try to like chump him off in front of capacity on the reunion marceau don't feel that way he's like listen whatever i'll talk to him i don't think i have to i don't think i should but i will if you think that that a one on one conversation was more um, necessary or would be more effective because how he came at him, just that just that just wasn't it. Um, Tiffany and Lewis, they talk about the pajama party. She felt like, you know, she and Kimmy were good. You know, she tells him that she and Kimmy um had a talk and then Stormy walked up and kind of like stirred it back up again. And she don't really understand what Stormy's beef is. Like Stormy just came in hot and we don't understand either Tiffany. We just don't. She, she is very, she's operating like one of the viewers and she ain't supposed to do that. She ain't supposed to do that. Um, Lewis tells her about Martel dropping by the gym and, um, you know, and Martel basically having their, having their back, you know, he felt like they were bullied as well. And, um, there's a conversation that's going to have to be had between him and Marceau. He's not sure why Marceau was so aggressive in his approach with him, but um, he wants to talk down. He wants to talk as well and sit down just the two of them. Tiffany thinks, you know, well, after that, you know, then maybe, maybe we could do a double date, you know, because I've known Marceau a long time. And he's like, and see, that's my problem. Cause don't act like you don't know me. And now Lewis is triggered <laughs> and he starts going off because don't act like you don't know me. Don't try to play me. No, nah, it's it, we all good and everything, but you got me stuck. And Tiffany's just like, it's your wife. It's your wife. Calm down. It's your wife. He's like, nah, F all that. I don't want to hear none of that. I don't want to hear none of that. I don't give about none of that. <laughs> 
he tried to play me and I get that. Don't try to act like you don't know me. And see, that's the thing. Marceau just said out his mouth in the scene before that he doesn't know Lewis. Lewis is saying, we do know one another. We are, I would say they're cordial and friendly and have been in the same circles, been at the same banquets, balls, gatherings, galas, whatever, that sort of thing. With his wife being, you know, part of the Chamber of Commerce and kind of being, you know, politically involved. And so, you know, you're familiar with Lewis. And so, don't try to play him. Um, but his whole thing is, listen, we, you trying to be my boy. You're just trying to be my social. We're trying to be cool. Like, which is it? So, so that I know. Because I think Lewis is trying to create lasting relationships. He's it's not he's not trying to be on some we co-workers, you know. He's like I I'm trying to, you know, make friends with these people. I'm trying to they're trying to establish themselves within the friend group. Marceau and Tisha are like we got enough friends over here. Y'all can be associates though. <laughs> Y'all can be friends to the show though. Um Melody and Micah, they're running line. Micah, Mariah, my bad. <laughs> they're running lines. They both have acting aspirations. And um, Melody says that she would pick Mariah up from school and they would drive out here to Atlanta. And I'm wondering, like, would they go to acting classes or was it like a John Casablanca type of thing? Um, a lot of there were there were a few people when I was doing it that were coming from out of town, from Alabama, you know, the out the surrounding states coming in just to do that. Um, but, um, anyway, they run lines or whatever. She's helping her mama from behind the camera practice. Uh, I will not practice, but she's, she's recording an audition tape. Then they sit down and Melody has to give the child the strong black independent woman talk. And the cycle continues. <laughs> and y'all be wondering why, why, why black, why are so many single black women and, and why are they doing the, why is it this and why is it that da, 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 da. all of those issues stem from that single black I mean from that single black black mother who's a working mom beating over her daughter's head you better be independent you don't need nothing from nobody you a single black woman you independent you a strong be strong black woman that's 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 dead guys let's stop doing it teach our daughters to follow their dreams, their goals, their aspirations. Yes, all of that. Teach them work ethic. Teach them those things. But don't teach them that they have to be so strong and independent that they are not soft and woman enough when this man approaches her and, you know, wants to date her. Because her focus is, I'm a strong, black, independent woman. I don't need nothing from you. And so then when he's trying to be a provider, y'all button heads. <laughs> and so again guys let's stop that let's stop that we don't have to we don't have to tell her we don't we do not have to tell our daughters to be strong independent black women we can stop martel he stops by his mother's house he is coming out with a sweet red wine and he wants her to taste it that he has a few samples um she he's not a big drinker so he's gonna value her opinion you know mama <laughs> mama just started throwing him back she wasn't even waiting on him to explain nothing she was just oh let me try this one. Oh, give me a little bit of that one. Oh, let me have this mm -hmm. oh this is good oh yes this is good but she does figure out which one she likes the best and um i guess that's the one he's gonna go with it's named after his grandmother her mother good stuff um he tells her about the book signing that's coming up with the dog with his with his children. He hopes that Melody is gonna bring the kids. He said that he let her know. He sent her an email with the invite and all of that. So balls in her court. He's really on that. You know, I just, I'm doing what I can. I don't know, like balls in her court. <laughs> don't don't try to paint a picture like she's the one that's being difficult. Both of y'all I know are tugging and pulling, tugging and pulling. It's tit for tat. Tit for tat. I know it is. Cause that's what y'all give. So don't 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 try to pull at our heartstrings, Martel. It ain't gonna work on me. Like not at all. Um The Scots, they're having family time. Marceau looked like he wanted to run out of that house. Family time. <laughs> he ain't never around them people and I know it. But anyway, they're discussing a family trip. Um they somebody throws out Africa, it's like he already been. 
he uh, he know all about Tanzania. It's like, oh, we should go back there. She's like, oh, yeah, you could be our tour guide since you was already in Africa without us. What would you recommend? Where do you think we should eat? <laughs> anyway, when the kids, um, you know, ex exchange, I mean, excuse themselves, um, he tells her about his conversation with Maurice and Martel. Tisha don't feel like nobody bullied uh, Louis. She, she don't see where that came from at all. But anyway, she changes the subject to their conversation with her mama. So what's this about this apartment? Like, where did that come from? And he looking out, looking at her out the side of his eye, like he, like he can't directly look her in her face because he know he about to lie. He know he about to lie. I, I I pay attention to Marceau's body language the most on this show, him and Maurice, because they lie. <laughs> they lie, and they can't lie well. Um, they can't lie without something being fidgety in their body, or something being off in the, with their body language. But anyway, um. She asked if he's talked to Martel about it, and he says he hasn't. It hasn't crossed his mind. You know, he's just like, I, I don't, I don't know where these people are getting this, but you know, my my cars are distinct, and so if somebody if somebody saw my car around that apartment complex, you would have known by now. Why won't you deny these things? Why won't you just say, No, I do not have an apartment with Martel. No, you want to throw out there if some well if somebody seen my car, you would have known. And she just takes those types of answers. And she is she's taking it. And I and I know Tisha's taking it as long as she can take it. <laughs> she's gonna take it as long as she can. I don't know when we're gonna get the the big blow up or when the shoe gonna drop. But Tisha Tisha does not believe him. <laughs> she does not believe him. <sighs> anyway, um, he talking about something. I just wanna make sure. Are we good? Are we good? She says they're good. She doesn't look like they're good. Kimmy and Maurice, they are packing for their trip. She fills him in on the messy pajama party. You know, she says that she's going to have to talk to Tisha because her cousin was around there being messy. And so she's going to have to talk to her. But after the honeymoon, she ain't fooling with them people until then. Um, Martel, you know, we at the book signing. Um, long story short, them children do not show up. <laughs> and we knew that Melody wasn't bringing them kids around there. Um, Melnika kind of gives him some advice, you know, like, you're going to, it's going to take some time. She comes from a, from this type of dynamic as well. And so I'm sure that right now, Melody just don't trust you. She's just not, she don't feel safe. And so it's going to be some static. It's going to be some back and forth. It's not going to be easy, but you're going to have to just give her some time and be patient. Um, and we find out though. Oh, Tiffany shows up to the to the thing. Everybody, everybody that showed up was asking, "Where are the girls? Where are the girls?" They're not coming. <laughs> the kids are not coming. Um, but anyway, Melody is on her way to a, um, her hometown, going on a trip, and we find out that she did receive the email, but she got it the day before, and it was an email telling her where to be, where to show up, what time, and all of that, as opposed to asking her what her schedule was like. What what her availability was like, and and if she could bring the kids because it's her weekend with them. If you want them, you know, to be at certain events for you, then schedule that on your weekends. You know, in a perfect world, Melody, in a perfect world, I'm sure he would do that. But we talking about Martel, Devante, Jerome, Hope. <laughs> I really don't know if that's that man's name. Um, but anyway, that's 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 where it ends out drama 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 with those two they ain't even filming together and yet we are still finding a way to have each other's each other's names in their mouths while they film you know like if i'm not filming with you and i've refused to film with you we ain't talking about you when i film or none of that because <laughs> i said i ain't dealing with you let somebody else talk to martel <laughs> you know like i'm not finna be sitting up talking about martel <sighs> anyway be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe to the channel. It's Call Me Busby, and I'll chat with you later. Peace and light.